this. Just got freaking choked. Oh goodness. The heck is that, a giant smallie? Yes. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. Got a few hours after work today and I'm going to try to catch another fish on the five inch six cents uh, trace, the swim bait, the hard swim bait I used a few days ago and caught a smallie on. My first smallie on, I, I guess you could call it a larger bait. It's five inches, it's not terribly big, but it's my first swim bait smallmouth. And today we're going to go to another creek where it's predominantly largemouth bass. It's kind of weird, but um, yeah, we're going to be throwing that five inch swim bait here in this little creek. It's a place that I come to every now and then. You might catch a fish or two, but we're going to hop around as well. So we're going to fish this creek. We might move around to a lake and go hit a spillway or a dam or something like that. But stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can catch a fish today, guys. Let's go. All right, I'm going to do a little gear check with the uh, five inch trace. This is the French bone color, I believe, or the bone pearl, one or the other, but it's an awesome, nice shad pattern. Five inches, which I think is perfect. This is going to be one of those baits that I throw a lot this year just because it's so fun. Watching this thing swim just below the surface and like that smallmouth, the first fish I ever caught on it came up and just crushed. And I had multiple hits that day, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a killer. But I have it on the 7.3, medium heavy, fast action. I'm throwing 14 pound fluorocarbon. I know it seems light, but if I'm ever fishing around large timber, I'll probably put it up to like 16, but I don't want to get too heavy. This bait's, I think this bait is literally just one ounce. So it's not too heavy and I can get away with throwing it on smaller gear. It's the utility player Daiwa Steez. I got it paired up with the Zillion 10 SV TW. Tins a lot, it's pretty, this is a fast reel, but I really like having the ability to cruise this thing just below the surface at very fast speeds. And I think that's what's gonna get extremely, be extremely, extremely deadly on the rivers and creeks when I'm fishing shallow riffles. If I see a big boulder out in the middle of the river with a couple feet behind it, I can throw this bait over top and just burn it right behind that, right behind that structure. And I think this is gonna catch me a ton of awesome fish. Let's give it a shot here in the creek. Just got freaking choked. Let's freaking go. Y'all probably could have just seen that. We just got a freaking creek tank. Second cast in. Are you kidding me? This thing is freaking awesome. Look. That's when you know they want it when it's in the side like that. Look at that large mouth. Unreal. Look at the belly. Pre-spawn chunker. Well, that didn't take long. That's a healthy, probably 17 inch or maybe. Thank you so much. That fish came up and crushed it. There you go, buddy. There she goes. Let's go. Check out the action of this little swim bait. Isn't that killer? <laughs> and you can burn it across the surface and get like a wake bait action. It's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, first cast. What was that? Nice bass and he's got the rear hook. Let's freaking go. Chill out, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. Let's go. Two swim bait fish. That is a freaking chunk. Hit that rear treble. Dang, they took the rod out of my hands. Number two. Freaking crushed it. These fish mean business today. Business. That's a chunker. It's a 15 incher all day. Heck yeah, buddy. Thank you for that. Give me a heart attack. First cast over here. Just annihilated it. There he goes. Well, 
it's the next day caught a couple largies yesterday a couple hours and i got a couple hours today so figured i'd hit the creek and give the old swim bait a try see if we can't connect with a small mouth today my god did you guys just see that i just had something huge come up and eat it oh oh right there at the bank that was sick come here buddy oh he's got a growth on his head i've never seen that look at that Check that out. Oh, that was awesome. That's my second smallie on the five inch trace. Right here in the shallows, that was sick. It's a 15 incher, at least, probably 16. Here you go, buddy. He's strong though, he's swimming off really good. Yes! <laughs> That's a big old smallie. What? Come here, dude. Look at this football. Oh my gosh. It's the fattest 13 incher I've ever seen. Nah, this is like a 14 and a half. Look at that football. Choked it. Freaking choked it. That is wild. Let me wash you off, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, this swim bait is changing the game for me. Look at the belly. <laughs> Catching footballs. He smoked it. All right, we're going to let this chunky, chunky fish, man. This is the heaviest, probably... 14 and a half inch I've ever caught in my life. And he annihilated that swim bait. There we go. I mean, that is the definition of a football. Look at the belly. <laughs> Knock some slack in my line. Beautiful fish. This swim bait is unreal, man. Look at the belly on that thing. Un. That's crazy. Look at that. Fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> there you go, buddy. That's wild. We just got a little guy. The one following it was way bigger than this. Holy smokes. That's our th fourth smallie on the swim bait, guys. Look, he's not even that big and he smoked it. There's two or three right under this bridge. All right, we're not gonna scare the school. I'm gonna back off a little bit and let him go in this little pocket over here. There you go, buddy. It connects out to the main creek, so. It'll be all right. I don't see anything else coming. That's unfortunate because I thought I seen a giant. Well, that's crazy. Get close to the wall here. Oh my God. Oh my God, back up, back up, back up. Just had a giant swirl on it. bigger fish goodness this is insane this swim bait fishing is crazy oh goodness the heck is that a giant smallie yes 
indeed is a big creek smallmouth. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely annihilated it. That's four smallmouth today on the swim bait, guys. Four. Looky what we have here. Another tank. Oh my goodness. Just crushed it right below the surface. All right, it's time to let this beast go. What a way to end the day. That's a 16 three quarter, maybe 17. There we go. Fourth fish of the day. Absolute beauty. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Look at the colors on that fish. There he goes. Let's go! Let's freaking go. Check that chunker out. All right, let's get this guy back in the water here. There you go, buddy. Alrighty, everyone, we're going to end the video. I fished for roughly three hours today after work and absolutely crushed it with the, with the five inch trace by six cents that they just came out recently with a few months ago. And I knew this bait was going to be absolutely dynamite in the creeks and rivers it's just short enough it's not too tall for a smallmouth to completely inhale it from the side which i think is why these smallmouth can hit it and get hooked extremely easily other than the giant hooks that come with the five inch trace they have premium quality components obviously with the six cent stuff but i'm i'm at a loss for words i knew this was going to be good but i didn't think it was going to be this good it's early april water temps are creeping up past 50 degrees it's going to be extremely warm this week, so we're hitting a really warm spell. The water's getting low from all that rain. These fish are packing on the weight. I caught the heaviest 14 incher of my life today. It was an absolute football and probably weighed two pounds. It was unreal. Watching these fish go after the swim bait and just completely destroy it has, it's, it's, it's a new level of, I don't know, it's a new level of excitement. Like when I'm fishing with the Helgramite, topwater bait and stuff like that, topwater poppers and buzz baits, it's fun. But throwing a swim bait, albeit it's a smaller, it's on the smaller side of the spectrum for swim baits, it's only five inches. But I'm able to throw it on the gear that I use all the time, which is a 7.3 medium heavy fast action rod. That bait is one ounce, so I can chuck it a country mile in the creek, which is extremely important. Casting distance is huge in smaller creeks like this and clear creeks like this where the water clarity is it's basically gin clear and these fish can see you and having that ability to cast far is extremely important and my rods are able to handle this bait flawlessly it's been an unreal experience the past couple days i've probably put six and a half seven hours of fishing in and we've caught what four small mouth today we caught two large mouth yesterday we've caught six fish just in these past few evenings and it's been unreal if you'd like to grab those, you can grab them on the Sixth Sense website, use code CRAWLER, and save a few bucks on them. And $25 to get into the swim bait game is not bad. And I've proved it here in Ohio that I can wreck fish with this swim bait. So that's important for us Ohio anglers to see somebody go out with a bait, with a lure, with a presentation in the local waters and do very, very well. And I'm saying six fish with this five inch swim bait and what, six, seven hours of fishing? That's that's pretty dang good in my book. That's phenomenal. But then we had a fish right downstream from here. Just absolutely crush it, follow it to the bank and just do circles around it and just it was angry and it was just un it was just an incredible day. Whew.
I'm at a loss for words. If you'd like to grab some Waterlands, use code CRAWLER15, save 15% off your polarized shades. They're extremely, it's an extremely vital tool to have in your tool belt when you're out fishing creeks and rivers. Being able to see isolated cover out in the middle of the river that a lot of people typically pass up, you're able to see that and target those areas and become very successful. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!